Also among the top trends today is Edmonton Oilers winger Zach Hyman, but it's not tied to his overtime goal providing the Oilers a big win last night. What everyone online is debating is Hyman's so-called privilege. A video from a journalist has sparked quite the debate after his take on Hyman following the winger's major milestone 50th goal of the season. Manisa Danabalan joins us live with the very latest on this. Manisa. Nicole, the video caused quite the stir online. While many, while some agreed that there is privilege in sports, many were defending Hyman, saying his accomplishments shouldn't be downplayed. Straighten out their game. I'm wondering whether the same holds true. Here's a tap in McDavid, and that's 50 for Zach Hyman, and his teammates mob him as he becomes the seventh Oiler to score all 50 in an Edmonton sweater. After scoring his 50th goal of the season, Zach Hyman got lots of love from his teammates. At 31 years old, he became the third oldest player in league history to get to the half century mark for the first time. It's pretty cool, a special moment obviously for me and, and my family. I mean, I think when I've said it before, but when you, you become an NHL player, there's so many people who have sacrificed and who have driven you to rinks, my parents and uncles like everybody chips in to help you but a Montreal hockey analyst has been getting some heat online after posting a video about his take shortly after our media industry has to do a better job of telling truthful stories in the video Andrew Berkshire said it's a fantastic accomplishment and admitted that Hyman is a hard worker but said the hockey player was also given opportunities which is something not everyone gets you're missing the part of the story where Zach Hyman grew up insanely rich, where his parents bought an entire league to guarantee him playing time, where he did exclusive training that only a rich person could perform, or sorry, that only a rich person could afford with, you know, professional athletes his whole life, his whole life. This is a person who has had every single possible advantage to get where they are today. Berkshire received lots of backlash online from many who were defending Hyman, but today he clarified that his point was about how exclusive hockey has become, and he says it wasn't to target Hyman. The people who are parents right now signing up their kids in hockey, the ones who are able to do that without sacrificing not just time, but their own uh, financial stability, are mostly just people who have a lot of money. Some also asked why Berkshire chose Hyman and not other players who scored 50 goals, like the Florida Panthers' is Sam Reinhart, saying Berkshire seems to have an issue with the fact that Hyman is Jewish. There are lots of NHL hockey players who come from hockey families who have had um, other opportunities afforded to them that the regular average player wouldn't have and however they were not referenced in this video and they have not been referenced in the the comments that have agreed with this video those comments have chosen to target Zach Hyman Berkshire says it had nothing to do with Hyman's religion I have uh, no hate in my heart for anyone I love you the same as I love everyone else players in South Florida don't get the coverage that players in Canada get so I don't read as much call as much uh, media about the Florida Panthers. So, and I don't know Sam Reinhardt's story as much as I know Zach Hyman's story. Benet Brith adds that it's important that those who are posting on social media are careful with the words they choose and what information they put out, regardless of their intent.